a registered NPO, and we focus on youth and women uh, in particular. And when I say youth, and when I when we do the application workshop, which we call the application, which we call the education desk, which is part of our NPO, uh, we make sure Uguti, we don't leave out the males. So if you are a male, don't be shy. Comment now and say that you are here because this also involves you. Because when we are saying we are shaping the future for our youth and young people, we are including males in that. So um, it's it's for both men and women young women and men. So uh, don't feel left out if you are a man, because now you also need to go out there and uh, study. So we are all about making education fashionable. We are all about making sure good education is likable, because there is this thing that young people think now that after matric, they are done. After matric, I'm telling you right now, you are not done. After matric, you need to go back uh, to institutions of higher learning and training and study further. Because if you don't do that, uh, you will find difficulties. I'm telling you now, we are struggling in South Africa with a lot of employed, uh, with, with a lot of unemployed graduates. And I'm talking about people here who are sitting at home with a degree, with, with, with a master's degree. So if you, Ushelekaya, with just a matric certificate um, alone, you are definitely applying for a definite disaster in your life. So you, I wish to encourage you that you do go out there and begin to study so that you can shape your own future. And education, um, as we all know, is the key to success. Our number is available. Should I leave anything out or you want to engage with us more regarding your future, regarding your academics, regarding your applications to institutions of higher learning, it is here. I'm going to leave it down. It is 067 six double five and uh, firstly let's edit this thing let's just edit here so what are we doing here we are doing the we are doing the application workshop application workshop nice okay save so as i said our number is uh well done Lulega. i think it's just the two of us I promise you, if in the middle of getting your hands and your hands, goodness, what did I just do? So that I know that my conscience is clean and I move forward. So anyone who's missing out is going to have to come back here for themselves and um, catch up on what they missed out. So, yes, Lulega um, from Durban. Okay, that's fine, Lulega. Um, you can study wherever you wish to study. Um, I don't know. I always I always persuade people to go to Cape Town because Ilang Fundekon and I spent many of my years uh, in Cape Town. So I, I I would if if you can if you if you don't mind leaving the province, I would say go to uh, Cape Town because I really like Cape Town. <laughs> all right. So um, we are all about making education fashionable and uh, promoting education for the young people. So um, more particularly is to firstly create an email address because I've realized that when we conduct this e uh, these application workshops, majority of the young people uh, who are in matric or even those ones who are out of matric do not have email addresses. And now we are living in the fourth industrial revolutions revolution this means that uh, everything like paper based we are not paper based anymore as you can if you can realize Uguti, ama, ama applications now they are all like on the website um the people are trying to do away with uh paper based things so everything is run via email um people really don't post things now so we don't post our applications because they get lost and they never get to where they need to be everything is emailed everything is done online so it's very important for each and every person to have an email from past experience i've realized oh let's see there's more than 60 percent of the people who come for the first time to application workshops who don't have their own email addresses and i can't further stress uh Ugutu, how important it is for you to be able to have your own email part of this workshop actually is to help you open your own email address so that you can uh, be able to have correspondence through that very email address so um it's, it's a very awkward situation for me now because normally we would be doing things practically with a team yeah the madam herself 
and uh, we'll be sitting with laptops, computers, printers, and scanners and everything. And because I want to make sure, Uguti, once we leave at the workshop, we are living with people, with smiles on people's faces, ensuring Uguti, but a deal of apply, each and every person who came to the workshop has uh, created an email address and has applied. The people who come to our applications leave our applications having uh, applied, having left with a student number. So that is how we work. But it's going to be a very challenging moment for us. Um, and we're going to have to take advantage of um, using a, a such platforms. I'm alive. And I hope that you can follow up with me. I don't know. It's actually going to be quite impossible for you to be watching this live video and be off. Um, be creating e e e e e e e e email e email address and also applying at the same time so for now let's maybe just say this is information uh, information that you will need for you to be able to be successful i want to touch on our universities uh, the traditional universities, the universities of technology, we also have TV colleges, what the differences are and the rankings thereof. Because we know that there's tw we have 26 uh, universities in South Africa and we have 50 TV colleges uh, in South Africa and all of those have their own rankings. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about faculties, uh, we'll talk about schools and departments, uh, and then we'll talk about CAO. So please don't get left behind. I can see that people are watching and they're just watching Justin i did say this is not a fashion show guys so if you are here do comment that you are here and uh where but what, what i'm really particularly interested in is where you are because i don't want to assume that you're in durban can't you're in shouting because I, I i don't want to base my entire workshop on universities and uh civic colleges that are around in kzn can't you get left out or you think this is irrelevant for you so if you are in this place i I really urge you to do a comment and say, my name is Mbalia Zematigizela. I am from Durban. I wish to study in Cape Town, UCT, for example. Or I am not sure where I want to study anyway. It's good for me. All right. And then um, we will definitely talk about how we calculate AMA points. I'm sure by now you've heard about points. You've heard about levels. You've heard about all of that, what it means is what we're going to talk about today, how you calculate that, how you pick your institution, how you pick your your faculty, where you want to study, and so on. So, um, firstly, most importantly, I want to stress out to you that uh, the closing dates for AMA applications, uh, closing dates for most uh, programs end in end of September. I'm going to repeat this for most programs. We have programs that close literally next month at the end of June. I'm talking about in medicine. I'm talking about education. I'm talking about nursing. And that is not limited to those three. There's others also, some other um, uh, uh, programs that close in June. So you need to equip yourself and uh, uh, get yourself a copy of ECAO. This is, I've got a hundred of these in this house, actually. This is 2020, and you guys need AI 2021. It's practically the same thing. I still use AI 2019. It is the exact same thing. The only thing that they've changed is some of the programs were national diploma, and now they're no longer national diploma. They're just called diplomas. But really, um, you need to, if you are in KZN and you want to study in KZN, this booklet and this... Uh, this booklet is something that you cannot um, not have. You need to get yourself a copy of this. So uh, as I say, I've got a lot of copies. I don't know if CAO is open. I'm actually going to find out tomorrow and I'm going to get back to you on the page. But um, if you, I'm sure you can also get it online. Actually, please, can you get it online? Uh, it's a CAO. Now, be very careful with the CAO, uh, uh, CAO website because there are two CAO websites. Connie website here, say UK. So you're going to find that you are busy trying to apply. You don't understand what's going on. And they're saying that application is closed. You are probably in the wrong website. So when you are going to the when you are going to the CAO website, it's www.cao.ac.za. So do not write .com or do not write anything else that is dodgy. Check this out here. You see, it's uh, CAO 
dot ac dot z a so you don't want to find yourself looking at things that you don't even understand because zobona uh, applications are closed and you're going to panic and no applications are actually very much open so we need to get moving we need to apply we need to get those um feedback from the institution uh by july latest august if you are going to be working under the program of the madam herself that is the due, due dates that i give um all our uh, students, prospective students. So it is cao.ac.za. It is not cao.com. Otherwise, you're in the wrong website. You are in the one of um, UK. And that's not where we are. So okay, um, the closing dates for applications, I'm going to repeat this because it's very important. That's why I wanted to start off with this. Um, applications for things such as education, for things such as um, medicine, for things such as nursing, and so many other more, by the way, they close in, um, in, 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 in June. You need to get this booklet for you to be able to see. But I assure you, uh, most of them do close in the end of uh, September. And another thing that I also want to stress out is that programs such as chat such as abo medicine abo nursing abo education yo those programs people really i act very fast so if you want to get into that program you need to ensure that you apply as early as yesterday you need to make sure that you apply now you need to make sure Uguti, at least by the end of may your application is already there okay another thing that i need to stress out is that Whenever, for example, let me let me make a CAO uh, my primary example because um, I'm only here speaking to Lulek. Lulek, a CAO, if you're going to study here in KZN, in, in KZN uh, this is what you're going to need to be using to, to apply. And um, you have to pay for, for them to be able to look at, into your application. You have to pay the application fee that's even uh that that is also the same story with I I I unisa or any other university that needs you guys to pay their money up front i like what cput is doing that the um you can apply online but you don't have to pay a single cent how if you're applying online um but um cao you need to pay and last year it was a hundred it was 245 let's just say uh 250 to be just to round it up it was 250 last year and probably this year will still be 250 so if you apply and you don't pay your application fee it means that even if you have sent even if you've clicked sent and even if you've gotten an email that says that uh, you have um your your application has been sent and wada 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 if you have not made that payment i promise you now even if you got that email because you get it immediately they will not process your application so i can't further stress that go and pay your 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 application fee um as soon as possible and when you pay it make sure Uguti, you email it back to them Uguti, you show them a proof of payment um so that you'll be able to they will be able to process your application Right. I spoke about how important it is for you to be able to have your own email address. And what I've realized with uh, the royal daughters and royal sons that we help, Uguti, um, guys, they always forget their passwords and their usernames or their emails. We, we can't we, we can't work with that because it takes us another not even a, a step back. It takes up takes us multiple steps back. Whenever you create your email address or your google i like to use google i don't use yahoo i only use google accounts whenever you create your email make sure over the password that we call make sure what the email are you called are we called free. do not forget for forget those to write them down so that you know that you have them because um because there's no point in you having an email address that you can't access and then when you need to have um when you need to have uh uh stuff that you need to view your email, you can't because you cannot access, um, you cannot get into it because you don't know your password. So write it down. That's what I always tell them, write it down. Normally what we do in our application workshops when we create the email accounts, we always ensure Ugo Tisewa, Bala Pants, my password and the emails so that because most, ah, more than ever, they always forget their email, the email uh, addresses and or their passwords. So, ngekala lulek, ngekala nonk, enlalele manj, ugo si, ni ngawakwa shama email in.
na ma password ka kul guys wa balance pants so that uh, when we need them when we need to access stuff you know that you have them it is so frustrating it is so frustrating it is so frustrating when people forget their passwords and then we need to create things they can't access their their, their emails because they don't know their password so again i'm going to say that when you create your email address when you create your email account make sure oguti you know your email and you know your password write it down and i always say oguti um make it easy for yourself make it your name make it your mom's name or something that is so easy to remember and another thing with your passwords and your emails make sure oguti password the one that you are using is the same password that you used to apply to all institutions or to open any um application or any account because it makes it so much easy for example if you are already on facebook um of which i'm i'm sure you are if you're listening now don't change your your facebook pass i mean use the same facebook um password for your for for your gmail if you're going to create a gmail uh, account because you're not going to forget that if you're always on facebook don't have multiple passwords just to be uh, safe so let's get to universities uh, versus civil colleges um so guys uh, this thing is divided into many many things firstly there's distance learning distance learning is for example e unisa where you don't actually sit down in class and you have lectures you you have um you you get your books and anything that you need that is your study material posted to you posted to the address that you give them and you basically study at home uh, i've done i've done a course or two via unisa and it's it's not so bad sham it's not so bad it's just that you need to be up to date uh, with your with your submitting of your assignments make sure what you submit on time they provide you with everything they provide you with envelopes they provide you with your study material i don't remember having to in, ever buy any textbook i think they'd given me i don't know if they you actually need to but I mean, I, I, they that given me everything that i needed so um you never ever ever sit down and meet your teacher you can email them you can call them but you never really go to lectures the only time you actually sit and you see uh, your the people your fellow students is when you write an exam so that is the only time so you never really know who are you who you're studying with you never really know who's in the same program as you because you are at home and you are studying alone and the only time you get to meet people actually is when you are going to write your exam but even that uh, when you pick where you write your exams you actually pick where you want to write your exams closest to you so they have many 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 venues uh, around south africa and you pick the one that is closest to you and um you write your exam there so it doesn't mean because you're going to write exa an exam in that very venue or could say that um those people are, are studying the same thing as you it only means that they live close by you and they study in unisa so you might never ever ever find someone that you're actually studying the same program with up until you finish your degree all right so we have degrees we have diplomas we have ama certificates and we have um ncv i want to stress this thing out because it confuses a lot of people and i've seen tears uh, uh students coming uh, to universities and they've applied for the wrong thing i've had students come to an institution of higher learning and they've applied for a certificate thinking that they've applied for a, a degree they come to the institution uh, because they didn't really uh, uh pay enough attention when they were applying they realized in the case institution of higher learning Uguti, they didn't apply for a degree or a diploma they applied for certificates and a certificate is only like 12 months guys and the nsfast does not pay for certificates you come to institution of higher learning to register you realize Uguti, oh my goodness i've got my nsfast they're paying absolutely everything but i've applied for certificates in um by mistake and nss is not going to pay for that and we are practically wasting your time um because I, 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 you didn't you didn't really pay uh, enough attention to that yes it's mistakes that we make but it is a mistake that is going to cost you a lot and it's a mistake that is going to cost you a lot of money and a lot of your time because nss is not going to pay for that and two it's time consuming now having to wait a whole year to be able to get to the the correct program that you wanted because you applied for a, a wrong program okay 
I remember very well, this was very sad. Is Kalas Pelile Umjana Uu who apply certificate for your accounting, not the degree, not at all. So um be very careful when you apply. Uh, check, am I applying for a degree? Am I applying for a diploma? Am I applying for a certificate? That is what I need to get through. And this is all here in this book. Oh, goodness, this is so difficult, Shamias, because I can't even show you my slides. It's all in this book. Read carefully, read carefully. This is a diploma. This is a degree. He asked you how many years. Another thing that you need to pay a lot of attention to is, is the duration of the course. Because they tell you, if it, if you see one year, it's definitely not a degree, that thing. It's definitely not a diploma, that thing. It is a certificate. So avoid uh, applying for certificates. Meanwhile, you are trying to apply for a, a, a diploma or a, a degree. So we have amateur at colleges. And there's a stigma towards the Mativit colleges. I don't know why I'm a student in Gatan, Uguti Afunde, go Mativit colleges, or they feel Uguti, it's not worthwhile. If I can actually tell you what's happening now, especially with the Tivit colleges and the specialization um, and the scarce skills that they're teaching the people, the people there, you end up finding Uguti Abandu go to Tibet colleges and recruit there. Why now? Because the universities or the universities of technology even do not uh, drill as much. They're not specific. They do not focus a lot on the skills that um, um, the people um, who employ AMA students actually need. So Tibet colleges put a lot of focus on learning uh, skills that, that are geared towards specific occupations or careers and these occupations are, are usually overlooked when students are considering their careers um i don't know why i don't know why we do that and i think uh we need to stop being ashamed there's absolutely nothing wrong to go to that college um especially if you don't have ama points that can get you to university or university of technology i i don't see why you'd need to sit at home and do nothing because Ubonu would say, you did not make it to get to uh, the universities. Uh, there are Tibet colleges, and it's easier to get to the Tibet college uh, than it is in terms of the requirements and the specifications of what they need uh, for you to to meet the requirements. You need, uh, it's easier to to get to that to to make it into the Tibet college. However, guys, I mean, I'm just going to put it very straight to you. If you study in a Tibet college, um, obviously the pay is not going to be the same as you go into a traditional university. Jobang Shilo, there's degrees, and degree is obviously higher than a diploma. Diploma is normally three years, uh, and a degree is normally some degrees you, you can get acquired in three years, but uh, most of them are four, year, four years. That is why there's a BTEC, because an EBTEC is equivalent to a degree. That's, that's an additional year that you do to, um, so that it becomes equivalent to the degree. Um, so, Tivet College. Um, Nakona, it's normally like 18 months of, of theory, and then you go to do prex, um, which we call in service training, where you go to a real um, institution, or rather, let me say, where you go to the workplace so that you apply what you've learned in those 18 months of theory, you put it into practice, into um, in, into the workplace. And that also happens for 18 months. And once you've finished, uh, those two 18 months, it becomes three years, and then you get your diploma, you get your certificate, and yeah, you move forward. So, Iona, e, 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 Tibet Colleges, there's a lot of programs in the Tibet Colleges. Um, there is engineering, there's even uh, in, uh, there's education also. There's quite a lot of things. You need to actually really get this booklet for you to be able to know. But there's a website that I want to also speak about, um, which is called Public uh, Tibet Colleges. A very, very, very good website, which I'm actually going to put in the comment section. Um, it tells you all the different um, cam campuses or or the, the, the different um, campuses and colleges that are 
available in each and every province. For example, like as at N, we have we have more than six colleges. We have E Coastal College, we have Ilangeni, SID, Machuba College, Mnambiti College, Ntashana College, Etsegwini College, Mfolozi College, um, Gungulov College. You see, and each college, for example, Coastal College, it has its different campuses. Coastal College is based in Durban. So there's a there's a Durban campus, there's a Switzerland Road uh, campus, there's Umlazi campus, there is Umlazi BB campus, Salam campus, Ubushebogu campus, and Umbumbulu campus, which is in Kwamakuta. So um, let me just actually take the website. Tembale to the hi I love what you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. I do have an email. Lulek are good. Lulek, you see, you are going with the times. I'm so proud of you, Lulek. This is the Tibet College. Like everything that you need to know about Tibet colleges around South Africa, all the different colleges and all their campuses in this website. You'll get absolutely every information that you need about Ama Colleges, Lawakona, and where you can apply. And yes, so we have 50 registered colleges, um, Tibet colleges in South Africa. And what I like about what they're doing with the Tibet Colleges is that you can even find a Tibet College in an in a rural place, in a remote area, in Makaya, Ayatollah, everywhere that you can think of. You can find Joan Gisha, there's 50 of them, um, of these colleges. And um, not only 50, within the colleges, there's campuses. So there's a lot, there's a lot everywhere. So now they're actually moving with the times. Um, in total, there's 364 campuses spread across the rural and urban areas of the country. So um, I'm, it's very impressive what the government is doing regarding that. Tibet uh, qualification is usually quicker to obtain. I did say it's three years. It's also more focused on getting you into a workforce quicker and at a lower expense to you. Yes, indeed, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to study there. And what I like is that... Um, yeah, see, uh, compared to universities and universities of technology, Tibet colleges, like 90% of the people that actually study in Tibet colleges get some ENSFS. I'm not saying that you're going to just get it because you're studying there. You need to apply for e e e um, e funding. We're going to start doing e e AMA workshop for ENSFS, how to apply as soon as ENSFS opens. ENSFS opens around uh not around in september NSFS will open and it closes it normally closes on the 31st of um, november so we only have two months to tackle ns fast that is why by the end of september we should be long done in fact by the beginning of august we should really really get a feedback from from all the institutions that you applied for how it went so then september comes at least we know that we are which institution we're going to and now we are applying for e e e nsfas so nsfas um 90 percent of the people actually do get it but you need to you need to apply you don't just get it because you you're studying there you need to apply on time even with the tibet colleges you need to apply on time this year i i found it very very challenging that um majority of the people who do not apply on time actually did not get space especially with the with the education not being free uh guys um it means that there's many many more people taking advantage of that and they're applying um ever since nj it was the 16th of december 16th december 2017 uh, yes it was 2017 when uh, his excellency his excellency the president himself Huh? announced e education to be free higher uh higher learning and training education to be free for those who are deserving for those who are poor for those who meet the requirements and being poor is still a topic that is uh, debatable Uguti, how do you we'll, we'll speak about that when we get to funding Uguti, who is poor what it means to be poor how much your pen should be earning and uh who, who's regarded poor we'll talk about that when we start doing speak about bursaries bursaries are, are already open so if you need to be uh, applying for a bursary please do so universities we're moving on to universities that deal magic massive colleges if there are any questions please can you leave your questions um here on the comment section so that we can address them
Oh yes. Ah, uh, you know, we have 26 universities. Oh goodness. Remember I said we have 50. Um we have 50 um we have 50 civil colleges, but at my university we have 26 public universities um in South Africa and they're all distributed within the nine provinces of South Africa. So pretty much each and every province does have a university um and they're just distributed around the country they're all over um the country i i think it is Gauteng has the most uh, universities Gauteng is the, is the province that has like i don't know i think they've got like six or something they have even more than six they have more than six those ones um and my universities have rankings we they are not the same and that's what i want to go slowly when we get to the the topic of universities because um, it, 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 it's, it's a place where it is a highly, highly contested, where many, many people are trying to get into and a lot end up not getting into. That is why you need to listen very carefully when you get to the universities. Because number one, if you make a mistake in your application, my goodness, it means that you're going to have to wait another year trying to get in. So um, at my universities, there's 26 of them. And um, they all, um, I want to speak about the rankings. We could see which university is regarded as um, better than another university and how the rankings work. So in, in the country, the in fact, not even in the country, in the continent of Africa, the best university that we have is the University of Cape Town, which is situated, of course, in the Western Cape. And then... Um, after that, it is Witz, Vatistrand, which is in Cape Town. And then again, I mean, which is in Gauteng, oh goodness, in Johannesburg to be particular. And um, we have, e e number three is the Stellenbosch University. Number four is University of Pretoria. No, it can't be University of Pretoria. It has to be University of Kozul Natal. Okay, well, number four, number five, you Pretoria and KZN. And KZN is a very good university. It's actually ranked number four. I think I'm, oh, I'm in the wrong site. I'm reading um, AMA, AMA rankings at 2014, 2015. University of KZN is now number four. It's a very good university, that one, and I'm so proud of it, especially because uh, there is Zulu is taken very seriously. So when we speak about decolonization of education, it's taken very seriously there. And uh, that's one of the universities that I take in very high regard, EUKZN. Um, so it's, it's, it's UCT, it's WITS, it's Stellenbosch, it's UKZN, it's UP. And then when it comes to AMA University of um, Technology, so there's a difference between the universities, which are called traditional universities, which are just listed, and then the universities of uh, technology. Uh, University of Technology, the, the the best one that we have in the country is also in Cape Town, Cape Peninsula University of Technology. That is my institution. Firstly, I studied at AACT, and then I went to CPUT. Um, okay, the difference between the two, the, the traditional and e, 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 e University of Technology is that University of Technology, just like e, e, amateur at colleges, they specialize in equipping someone um, to get ready for the workplace. So what they do is that at the final year of the diploma, it's normally three years of diploma, they offer diplomas and then you can gradually proceed to doing your BTEC, which is the same level as a degree, and then you do your master's and then you do your D uh, um, going forward. So the difference is that in a traditional university, they offer degrees only. Ne? Starting from the, the lowest qualification is a degree going up and then we university of technology they the lowest qualification there i'm not talking about certificates guys is the diploma which is normally three years and the diploma um the nice thing about the diploma is that you study for two years study in class for two years full on theory and then the last year they place you into a workplace where you actually apply all the theory that you learn so the difference between the two is that the other one focuses and takes pride in the fact that their students actually have experience when you get your degree 
or you get your diploma, you get a diploma that also has experience. It says that you have actually been placed into a workplace of uh, 12 months. So you know, Uguti, uh, how the workplace is like, unlike someone who comes from a traditional university, because all you know is just theory, okay? But then also um, the points in getting in are not the same. It, you require more points to get into a university, a traditional university, than you do uh, for a university of technology. Technology. That is why when you get your um, when you get your your your, your metric certificates, there's a B B uh, pass, which is the highest uh, pass, which says that you have a bachelor. You have a bachelor pass, meaning that you can go to any university um the, a traditional university. But if you get a D, it means that you qualify to go study a diploma, which you find in a university of uh, technology. Ne? University of so that that is the difference. Would say the, the rankings are not the same. You need to have more points. You need to have accumulated more points for you to be able to get into a traditional university, and then for you to be able to qualify for a diploma, you need to have at least a got got uh, achieved that D, which means that you need to start in the level of a diploma, and then your final year you go to the workplace, and then you go and go on forward in doing your in doing uh order order there ronelle you you cannot come i i don't deal with ill-disciplined royal daughters we don't use the word hell when 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 we are in this platform so a uh, delete your com delete your comment a uh, royal daughter we 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 are not going to take that very lightly you are no I mean, I, i'm a, i'm a i i i discipline when i see that uh royal daughters are not good i discipline remove your comment uh tk we do not say what the hell we, we, we don't say that a royal debts are correct. Uh, you are very young, Futi, to be uh, in this uh, application workshop because you are only in grade nine. All right, let's move forward. Um, where were we? Besikulu Mangan Universities. So, yes, yeah, 26 universities, and the rankings are not the same. And um, basically, yes, basically, yes. So please make sure Ogoti, you get e, e, you get um, you get your B if you need to go study AUCT or any other traditional university and you obtain your D if you want to study um, in at least a D for you to be able to be in a university of technology. There's another thing that I want to talk about. It's your English mark. English mark, it's very uh, disappointing when people have done very well in um, their matric here, obtaining Bs and Cs, and then they, have, they, they get a level four or rather under 50% for e, e, e English. That is very upsetting because you, you cannot, they, they don't even consider you at all. I, I don't know why, but you need to get a minimum uh, minimum of 50% for you to be able to study a, for you to be able to study a, a, a University of Technology and University. So guys, I know it, it can be problematic if it's not your, it's, if it's not a, your first language and it's none of our first language. I know I also struggled in English. Ah, cool, look, ah, cool, ah, cool, ah, cool. English is actually my lowest mark. Yes, it was the only C that I got. Can you imagine? So um, don't, don't, don't allow yourself to fall under the, the, the problem of 50%. It will really, 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 really cost you a whole year to try and go fix that English mark. So I've seen it happen a lot of time. People, a lot of times, people coming to study for engineering, they've obtained ninety percent for IMET, they've obtained eighty percent for physics, and everything else is like a B. And then they have forty-five IMET, and then they cannot, they cannot. Do Miss and Lovo, um, what would you like to 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 study, and where would you like to study? I hope your English is good. Lulega in Janis Nisak and Yakal Royal Daughter Ningang Pork as a civil right. Is Nisiga Pork, a Gap Pork, a Guba Sibbing, a Gapesqua fifth. No, but they don't take you for real. It's not even even a a Unisa. They don't even look if you are under 50. Um, University of Technology, never. 
if your English is under 50, university, traditional universities, they don't, you are just wasting time. I don't care how good your marks are, they do not take you. So let, let, let's correct this thing of people not taking seriously I'm a sub, I'm a, I'm a languages and only focusing on, I know I also used to do that, focus on maths and science and ignore everything else. But we, we can't afford to do that with languages. Um, let's move forward. Mm, it's so difficult because I, I wish I could share my screen so that I can take you through. Ndumiso, do you have a, 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 a email? Are you able to receive emails? Do you remember your password? Because we cannot um, continue if you um, you won't be able to do my applications unless um, you have that. Because the only way that they correspond is via emails the only way that they correspond is via email or sms so we need to get you um marching in the correct line otherwise you won't be able to be assisted Ooh, oh yes I think um, another thing that we need to be very careful of before you apply that I wish to stress out, as much as UCT is the best university in Africa, as much as uh, Ivitz Batistrant is ranked as the second university in South Africa, you need to understand, um, Oguti, which school, which, which um, university is better at what? You find that yes, UCT is the best, but Ilo Yasevit is better than Ilo Yase UCT. You find that in medicine, Yase Madunsa, make an example, is better than in medicine, Yase UCT. So look at all those things. You need to do a lot of research uh, before you, you, you are able to pick a university of your choice. You need to be able to uh, recognize Uguti, firstly, which faculty you wish to go to. Dad, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You need to be able to, what I'm saying in a nutshell is that you, CPUT, sorry, UCT is the best university in South Africa. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it has the best medicine program in south africa it doesn't necessarily mean that it has the best engineering program in south africa it doesn't necessarily mean that it has the best what do you call it law program in south africa you know what i'm saying so you need if you want to study for example nursing you need to find out so which institution has the best nursing in the country for you to be able to make sure which you are getting the best of what you are for, of your education two uh there's faculties and there's departments and then i know it always confuses the young ones the difference between the two is that a faculty is a home of all the departments when you when we speak about a school when we speak about a school of humanities uh, we are talking about all the different programs that is mothered by humanities when we speak about uh, the school of engineering or the faculty school and faculty is the same thing so when we speak about the school of engineering we're talking about the mother of all the engineering uh, departments uh, for example the mother of civil engineering the mother of um under the umbrella of chemical engineering mechanical engineering and so on i just need to close the door quickly talk about being alive what a time to be alive right so um you need to be able to tell the two so when i ask you what do you want to study you can't just say engineering it to me that that seems like you don't really know what it is that you want to study um you need to say mina i want to study uh civil engineering that means that you know what you want to study but if you just say engineering it means that you're quite not sure or at this point in time you don't really know the difference between the engineering programs that are available for you to be able to study all right so um a faculty is is like an overall um it, it's it's a combination of departments and then the department is basically um 
Let me just delete this comment because it's really grating all over it. The, the, the department would be like the Department of Chemical Engineering where all the engineering uh, pupils or students are together. Yes. So it, it's, it's very difficult for me to take you through the steps of creating a Gmail account. And it's, I realized, Uguti, it's difficult for me once again to take you through the application. Yes, I was hoping. Lulega, um, are we able today to apply? Did you guys get your um your your IDs? You need certif you need certified IDs, not older than three months. You need in. You need a, a ID and your matric certificates. If you are doing grade 12 this year, you need your grade 11 results. You need your grade 11 results. Oh, yes. Okay, um, I think um, what I want to do when we do our next workshop, firstly, to find out how can I share my screen so that I can be able to take you through the exact steps of the application where we get down with it now and we actually really apply. Um, so I think we will take it, maybe, I don't want to say next week, Monday, because that's too far. Maybe sometime this week, I'll confirm with you guys I think Thursday, no, Thursday is, is William Bogot. Um, maybe Wednesday, Wednesday. We, we can try on Wednesday and see if we can actually start with um, the CAO. And I want to take you through also um, other institutions where we do the online program. So I want to encourage everyone to do away with trying to apply uh, paper-based, those applications that you actually post to the institutions because those always get lost and those never get there on time. I This year, um, when we were doing the applications for NSFIRST, I realized the good thing, everyone that applied paper-based for NSFIRST actually never, 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 never got a, a response. And I promise you, if you don't get a response from NSFIRST and you have an acceptance from the university and you can't secure your space, because you can't show any, you can't show the institution that you have in, you have funding. They're gonna give it to someone else, and it's so painful. I, I saw that a lot happening this year. So I, I please let's do away with paper based applications. This I don't want to see this. I don't want anyone to carry this. If you are carrying this, you are just scribbling on it. That's the only thing that you are doing with it. I've got many of this uh, for people to scribble on and just get used to it. But really. The application year and to, to institutes of higher learning really it, it's not more than 30 minutes because all you just need to have is your names is your id your contact details you need that email address you need uh your cell phone numbers your address and your next of kin which is probably your your parents your mom or your father most people use their 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 mothers you need a Good, Lulega. Good. Very good English mark. Woo, girl. I'm so impressed. Yo, my English mark is so disappointing. So, um, your, your citizenship, where are you from? Uh, financial aid. Financial aid. Please, please, I don't care how rich you are. I, I'm not even bothered by how rich you are. I'm not bothered by the background you come from. If it says financial aid, do you need financial aid? Say yes. If you need raise, say yes. I I I'm, I don't even care whether you stay right in town and it D U T is next to your is is next to your flat. If it says residence, if it says financial aid, always say yes. I've had people who say no to these things. I don't understand why. It's so frustrating. And then you don't get res. And then you go study at UCT and then you've said no, you don't need res. Kanjani. Kanjani. It rent as a Cape Town is ten thousand Rand. How, how are you? <clears throat> Let me not even get there. Uh, you need your parents' um, information, details, their names, their cell phone numbers, their ID numbers, but you don't need to provide their, uh, um, you don't need to submit their ID copies. 
their cell phone numbers or your guardian's um, details. You need to know which high school um, province and also know your your grade 12 um, metric numbers. Some of some of you guys don't have that. It's fine. The most important thing is your ID. You got to find a little overnight, and um, the school subjects and so on. And then again, I stress to you, it's your grade eleven results that are more important than your term one results for 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 your application to be able to be to be processed because they need to know how you did overall how, how you coped in your final um in, in your grade 11 year that is why they use term four because you can't really um you 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 can't um conclude from only one term your first term year year metric that is why they use um grade 11 term four to check if you're actually someone that copes there's something that i wanted to speak about this application i promise you this application here is is if you know what you're doing it's 10 minutes 15 minutes that's all and then you, you submit everything um you just need two things to submit that is all there's something paramount that i wanted to speak about that i think i'm forgetting what is it 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 i i am sorry i i I'm forgetting that one, but hopefully I remember. I want to speak about the points now. I would say how you calculate points, because also that differs per per university. Even within a university, it differs per faculty. Even per faculty, it differs. I've seen it with CPUT when I was applying at CPUT. It differs per institution. So you need to know, Oguti, um how to calculate your points um and that you get it from um the information um yeah yeah yes cao booklet again very important please google this booklet you'll find it online you'll find that booklet this booklet yes cao online goodness i wish i could give them to you guys because my name is anything but it seems like i can't for obvious reasons I was seeing this page just now. Oh, yes, there we are. Points and calculations. So, uh, majority of you guys, I won't even waste time speaking about the senior certificates where people were doing higher uh, higher grade and, and standard grade because majority of you guys are actually doing the National Senior Certificate, which is the NSC. So, the calculation of points is basically summarized uh, in this very booklet. So as you can see there, if you have achieved between 90 and 100% for, for your subject, you get eight points for that. But that is actually level seven. Ne? It's eight points, but level seven. Do you see the difference there? And if you get between 80 and, and 89, that is level seven and seven points. Anything between 70 and 79 is six points. Anything between 60 and 69 is five points anything between 59 and uh between 50 and 59 is actually four points ganjalo, ganjalo, ganjalo. so for example if you get 50 percent uh for your as a result it means that you've only scored up uh four points if you get uh 70 percent it means that you've only scored how many six uh points when you calculate your points you don't include life orientation you take the best six of your subjects without including e-life orientation. So people all people get confused because uh, for some reason, life orientation is the easiest out of all the six or seven subjects. And then everyone gets like a uh, level seven for e -M. Oh, you're already a student into me. So that's good news. You can epi and yes, I got thank you very much. You're helping and I'll share the links. Uh thank you so much to me. So um wow, this is really encouraging. This is really encouraging. I wonder what you're studying and which year you're doing. But I'm happy to hear that. 
um because you are studying and you're all sorts so i wish you the best in your career and domain so i know it's such a uh, difficult times unprecedented times but um for you guys to be actually forced into doing um distance learning something that we've never actually done majority of the people but um goes all longer fundan kuban eh ni 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 so that is how you calculate you you pick the basics of your subjects and then um you exclude in life orientation so that is how you calculate sometimes sometimes i know at cput for for humanities for example i can use in in what is this hospitality where they say it's an average so you you calculate all your your marks excluding e e e life orientation and then um that is the average you divide by the number of e e the number of subjects that you do so it will be like let's say you got a uh, uh you add up all your percentages let's say you get um uh 350 when you add up let me use a number that i can actually divide properly let's say you get um 360 yes let's say you get 360 when you add up all your six uh your six subjects and then you divide that by six which means that you have a um yeah you have six basically yep that is how they calculate it so you need to make sure over to how you calculate your your points in closing i want to stress this thing out now in closing do not apply for something that you don't meet the requirements for i'll say this again do not apply for something that you don't meet the requirements for two do not th there's programs when you apply um you have to they say it's either you say it's your first preference or you you, you don't even waste your time applying for it and then i I've, I've 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 seen this happening with my royal daughters and royal sons uh Uguti, they you have six options you, you've got six things to pick from and um some of the programs stress you they, they don't even look at you if it's a second option or it's a third option they want you to make it the first option if you don't make it the first option they don't even um they don't even take your application seriously so make sure if you want to, if your passion is is engineering let me use engineering because it's my um specialty if it's engineering in particular chemical engineering don't make chemical engineering your second option and then you put something else uh, as your first option. Two, if I know that I'm not good in math and science, and I know that I'm not going to meet the requirements for um, for me to be able to study chemical engineering, do not put chemical engineering as your first option. Do not put how you prioritize these things. Number one, make sure Oguti you meet the requirement for the thing that you want to study, and make sure Oguti it is at the top of your list. It's either number one or number two. Others, they don't even want you to waste their time and tell and telling them that it's your, it's your second option because they don't you won't even make it i've had a royal daughter who did not study this year she met the requirements for the third option but because it was a third option they didn't give it to her so be sure what you want to study and don't don't be too optim optimistic and um say for example you want to go do medicine god oh now you know that you're scraping at 50s you you are just applying for a heartache. You are just applying for unnecessary depression. You, you know how you did in. I'm not saying what's in I know for myself, my grade eleven results were appalling. I was like sitting at forty percent for like everything because I never took education seriously then. But when I got to uh, my matric year, I changed my entire lifestyle and I moved everything to like an average A. You know what I'm saying? It, I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but majority of the time, that really doesn't happen. So don't say you want to go study uh, in medicine, but you are scraping this, like this term alone, last term alone, you got 50s. You, you, don't do it. Don't, don't do it because Lendo is personally very clung with that. It's really, it's, 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 it is, it is depressing, not only for you, also for us. Also for us, that has to ensure that you get a, a space in the institution of higher learning. I think that is all for me. I think the last time I'm going to stress this, do not uh, apply for something that you don't meet the requirements for. Because 
I don't waste time. If I can see that she, you're not meeting the requirements for this one, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste your money. Oh, I'm because an application fee for something that I know very well that they're not going to take you for. I've seen it. I've done this for many years. Do not waste your time applying for things that you can see. Go to me now. I can see if you are if the requirements is for example 60 percent and you are getting like 57 that is fine because you can still improve uh um three three percent you can get that but you are wanting to go study something that requires for example engineering at uct you need to either get 80 percent or 70 percent 80% or 75% for either methods for either maths or science. So if you are getting now um like 50%, like your first term already, you can see even last year you've been getting sitting on your 40s. Uh, don't do it. Don't 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 do it. Rather go apply a uh, um make the first option make your first option a uh, university of technology. Unfortunately, with the CAO form application form it's really limiting because you can't apply a UKZN in independently and you can't apply a DUT independently so you have to basically pick and say I want to make my first option a uh, chemical engineering a, a UKZN then number two chemical engineering a, a, a MUT then number three chemical engineering at DUT and you find that you don't get a space at UK and you don't get a space at DUT but because you've made it your third option at DUT they don't take you so um it, it, it's a it's a mouthful you need to think very carefully on on how you're going to tackle this one uh because you don't want to gamble I mean I don't like gambling with your lives I can't gamble with anyone's future so I, I'm, I'm I'm very frank I can see if you're not going to make, uh, just by the trend of your results, I can see if you are going to make it uh, to study this particular thing that you want or you're not. And I, I'll never misguide you. I won't do that. I'll never mislead you. So let's study things that we can uh, that we, we, we can see by now. You can tell. You can tell now what um, you can what requirements you can meet and you can tell which requirements are impossible for you to meet so don't go everyone wants to study medicine but it's not everyone that's going to study medicine firstly there's not enough spaces in medicine and people who normally study medicine are people who are getting 90s and 80s so um if you are getting 50s don't don't put it as your first option and then you you take something else that you meet the requirements for and make it your fourth your fourth option and then you don't get in why now because they saw this person made it a fourth option she's right that's serious because when you send your application through and you send it to the uh, chemical engineering department chemical engineering department does not know what your first option was and whether you made it or not but it just comes to them as your first option so they don't take you seriously they'd rather give the space to someone else who said it's their first um, option so you see options and requirements. Make sure you choose carefully. Next week, not no next week, Wednesday. Go Wednesday. Uh, Senza E CIN's application. We are going into it now. ECIO, we are going into all of these ones. So I need to know uh, which institutions you like to, to study at before you even do that. Everyone who's listening here, here is my number. It's not my number, it's the organization's number. Here's the organization's number. Um, do uh, send a WhatsApp message letting me know what it is that you want to study, number one. And then send me your grade 11 results so that I can have an idea, just so that I can guide you. I mean, I don't want to waste time. Time is, is money, comrades. Time is, is, is a lot of money and time is just very expensive. So let's not waste each other's time and lying to each other and misleading each other. Minanj, I'll tell you the truth, what, what, what needs to happen. Not that I'm harsh. I'm not harsh. I'm very loving. I'm caring. I'm sweet. Um, yeah, that is me. But I, I'm not going to waste your time and waste my own time misleading you, telling you to study things that you, I can see very well, that you are not going to cope, that I can see that very well, that you leave coping alone, that you are not going to make it. Because I because because and i don't want to be that one who misled you i don't mislead anyone i can tell i've done this for five years i can see if you are going to be able to get into this program i can see if you can't miracles they do happen but uh, we are not going to apply for e e medicine because everyone welcome to medicine 
Ayeko mpanga funu nga zimeti sin. Dabinyang wonke umuntu ufunu nga zimeti sin. Pasema results tololo. You need the results to do medicine. Yonke ndao. Not just at UCT. Not just at UKZN. Not just at VITS. Everywhere you need to have good results. Ini le foot enye. Abandona ba itandai. Why are people calling me? Um, okay. Um, education. Also, you need to, 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 not so high, but in general, people like uh, taking it lightly and thinking that because it's education, you can just score very low marks. No, you are going to be a teacher. You're going to be an educator. You are going to be teaching people. So at least your matric certificate must look good. Uh, yeah, I think for now, it's 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 almost ten past. It is past. Uh, it is eleven minutes past one. I think let's sleep for now and then. Um, the most important thing, what I've done last year is that I was assisting people uh, apply over the phone, and um, of course I'm gonna be the person who's calling you because um, you guys um, are kids, and some of you don't have EA time. So I would call you. Uh, over the nights and we'll be able to do application together but i would need you guys to email me your stuff email me your id email me your 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 results so that i can be able to do that i'm willing to do that even now because i can see over here there's this little there's so little things that i can do um on this platform where i am i i can't i, I can't really advise you because i can't see my results eh, no i can't so just just um go to whatsapp send of course your name and um where you are studying i need your your grade 11 results or your matric certificate so that i can advise and then we can get started i can we can together you and i we can apply over the phone but i of course will be running uh, the application so i would be able to i would need your your email so that they'll be able to email you everything uh, that's the correspondence and then um we'll take it from there so I'd like to thank you very much for all of those people who participated in today's application workshop. I know it's the first time Lame, I'm doing this online and it's so awkward because there's things that I wish to show you, but I can't show you. I can't show you these things. I can't, I can't, uh, because um, uh, they they require me to, it's hard copies. They require me to ha give them over to you. Another thing that I, w I, I wish that I could do with you guys is to do, and it's not an analysis. For those of you guys who don't know what you want to study, there's a test that we do for you to be able to, for us to be able to see, we'll see what it is that you actually like. Because it's so nice to be able to study what you like. So it's like a test um, that you do, like it's a multiple choice, not a test, like it's a questionnaire. It, it guides you on what would be best suitable for you according to your personality to study. So I've got all of those things here, but I can't really conduct it here because there's many options and there's also not one person that I'm dealing with. So perhaps what i can do if you drop me a, a whatsapp message i could I, I could scan it and send it to you via whatsapp so if you at this stage you don't know what it is that you want to study which is actually not okay by now you should know what you want to study if you don't know what you want to study by now at least you can do that personality test to check which um which programs or which disciplines best suits your personality it is the madam myself in Balias. We are not exactly mentioning about the team to come. Can long, 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 get panel and shooting a luto, elegant shooting a moon too. I woman, I influence a leader that took that it is like moon for Kupa Liva. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. I woman, I woman, okay, I woman, I influence, I lead, and I duke. Okay, I didn't do it today, but I duke. Gantana nonke emakae nilalegashe.